When you've written a book called Hippie Kitchen, you've got to reassure folks that you're not just an old pothead. And it's true, I am a card-carrying member of the 60s, uh, if we had cards. But I'm also a food historian and know that 100 years ago we didn't have measuring cups in this country or formulaic cookbooks. And the first cookbooks on the modern market without measurements. And I'm doing a trilogy. Cooking Beyond Measure was the first one. Good old Hippie Kitchen is the new little sister, the one with the fancy pants cover, and she's getting all the attention because she's got the cute name. I'm hoping to suggest that it's way more than Hippie Dippy. What I'm talking about is taking back our kitchens, leaving our measuring cups behind, taking back our kitchens for our health and our wealth, and for a whole lot of fun. Like Julia Child always told us, you know, at the end of the day, we can make a simple meal very easily, visit, and the kitchen will be a warm, inviting place in our home. So that was the message in Cooking Beyond Measure, book one. But what's new about Hippie Kitchen? Well, of course, people from the 60s don't even have to ask. They just grab the book because uh, uh, they know it will resonate with an era that was near and dear to their hearts. I weave rock and roll lyrics all through the book once again to try to create a light-hearted tone that will make us laugh, have a little fun, and essentially draw us back into the hearth of the home. So if the idea of rocking and rolling in your kitchen sounds like a like fun, why you know this this little number here might be for you. She's a real cruiserama, my sweet little hippie kitchen. So adios. <laughs>